Managing the admin around discipline and awards and merits and both positive and negative discipline all comes with this uh, paperwork and logging online. Well, you won't be surprised to hear that I think Notion is the perfect platform in which to manage that admin. Um, what I'm showing you today is the template that's included in my 2022 teacher planner. Um, it's in there, so get, jump into the description of the video below and you will download that planner uh, in its entirety from Gumroad. Uh, but today what I'm showing you is how that template for managing the discipline works, how I've set it up, so you can set up something similar yourself or you're very well going to take mine and use it for your own needs and maybe adapt that a little bit just to suit the terminology that you use in your school. So let's jump into Notion right now and I'll show you exactly how it's set up. Okay, so tracking discipline then in Notion. So here we are looking at my, I've called it my merits and alerts because that's what we call it at our school. Um, you call it something else, you might just call it your discipline tracker. Whatever you call it, um, it's the way I've got this set up is there's a bunch of properties across the top and there's three different views here that we've got built in and you'll be able to adapt those views or adapt the properties or whatever you like. But what I'm thinking here is that during the day, if I have this screen open or I have a, a view of this database somewhere else in my system, maybe in each of the classroom dashboards, okay, so I'm teaching four fourth form, I want to have a little area on my fourth form page where I have this database embedded on there so I can quickly update any discipline related stuff on it. Um, that's what I'm thinking for this. Now, so the way I've got it set up is um, if we talk through the properties first, so you've got the name of it, just quite simply the name, I've got a bunch of names of the different um, entries into this discipline table, okay? Note that at this stage, with the start of the term, we've not really done much. I've got a few examples relating to our characters from Harry Potter, but also I've just got a bunch of templates in there, and I'll come on to those in a little minute. Okay, so I've got a few different types of entry into this. So we've got, I'm thinking merits, I'm thinking emails, because sometimes I'll send an email relating to a merit. Um, I've got uniforms. I've got alerts, I've got detentions, and I've got archive. And those related really to this different categories that might be relevant in my school. You'll be able to update those types to yourself. I've got notes column where I can then add in a few extra notes. So say, uh, for example, on this particular day, Harry didn't have tied on up. So I would say second time. Just as a little note there. And there would be some another row in the table for the first time that Harry's not had the tie done up, but sometimes you might just want to add a few notes in there so you can do that. Then progress. I'm going to come on to the progress bit in a, a few minutes when I come on to the, the board all view. Uh, for merits then, so this is a relation column and it relates to the students database. So my students 22, 22 23 database this relates to that column. So I can go in here and I can pick students from that database. Now, whenever we start a term, we load all of our students into our students database, then that column will have much more options to select from. At the moment, it's just the four there that I've put in. Uh, same for concerns relating to the students 2022, 23 database. Uh, and I've only got four options at the moment, but I could obviously pick more. And then I just want to be able to quickly classify, do I want to know whether these are positive or negative? If it's merits, then it's good and it's plus. And if it's alerts and detentions and things like that, then it's negatives, okay? And then we'll add in a little bit for the date whenever um, that discipline item is relevant, okay? So that's your properties done. One other thing to highlight at this stage is that what I've built in this is all my templates for this particular database are all the examples, all the possible um, types of uh, entry into the database. And the reason I've done this is so that if I'm at the end of my fourth form lesson and someone uh, hasn't handed in the prep and I want to create an alert for that, I can just jump in here and say, right, um, Hermione, no prep. Okay, and that's obviously going to be a concern for Hermione. And the date is today. And we can say, um, spoke at end of lesson and 
she will hand in tomorrow or whatever it is okay and this will always default to discuss with the student at, at the first step and it's a type of alert because it's not a good thing okay uh, clearly if we then went on and said right oh okay so something's good then um, uh, Harry helpful around house okay then it's defaults to good because I've got that set up as that as the template it's, it's, it's a good thing it's type as merit discuss it with the student we come in here and we say right that's Harry here we go brilliant the date is today and there what, what do you do um, held door for whatever it is okay just come up with something off the top of my head so that's how we would enter information into this now when we jump into the board all option this is where I, this is what I've needed last year when I was doing all this stuff I'd be going through my day and I'd be jumping in and out of our schools tracking system for this sort of stuff and it's just cost me so much time what I wanted was one page in Notion where I spent all my time in lessons and during the working day anyway I could gather up all of my admin in on this page and then at the end of the day I can clear it all off okay so here we are we talked to we talked to Hermione about no prep okay and we spoke at the end of the lesson and she will hand it in tomorrow now maybe for example I want to send an email about that to her tutor just to say look this is the third time in three weeks that that's happened so I will send an email right as soon as I've sent that email I can grab that Hermione no prep and drop it into email sent brilliant okay so I know then that what emails I've sent and then separately once I've dropped it into ISAMS which is the tracking system that we use in our school I can drop it into ISAMS and there it is okay so we've got this um, Kanban board where we can drag different items across as we do them so Harry Merit House Harry okay brilliant well Harry I've dropped that into ISAM so your merits in there perfect and we've and Harry's been helpful around the house brilliant I'm not going to send an email about that because Harry's always helpful and everyone knows he is but we'll drop it into ISAM just so it's tracked against his record there okay and this view we have just so you can see the layout of it okay so you've got different this is board view the layout is board the page the card preview is the page content and um, you could choose the different options there but page content is quite nice because then we can see right there's the dates it's all visible what what happened and where it is and who it relates to um, you can change the card size if you want to fine and the group bias is quite key so the grouping is the tells us which columns everything fits into so I have this grouped by um, progress and you will need to have yours grouped by that in order that we can you create this templates in the first column then drag everything across to the right as you progress through the school day okay and I choose to color the columns we could choose to hide the empty columns if we want to um, at the moment I quite like seeing them all but you might choose to hide them which is fine um, what else have we got down here that's your layout your properties there's your properties some of them which you might choose to view in different views I've chosen to hide some properties and not the others um, we sort no sort applied at this stage subgroup type well we subgroup by type so this is the rows subgroups is the rows in this view and um, I've grouped them by types again we could if there's any of those rows are empty we could hide them um, but again, I'm probably leaning towards at the moment, just keeping them all like that. Uh, and that is it for your properties. Okay, and the final one that I'm thinking of is, right, I would like to know at the end of the day, if I haven't, if there's anything that needs to be going to ISAMS, I want to have one view at the end of the day, right, what discipline issues have I gathered up today? Well, this is the view, this is how I would do it. Right, I create a view board, and this is only where we need to send email or enter something into ISAM. So where the progress, where we've created the item, we've created it, so it's now been discussed with the student. 
Okay, because we're always going to do that. Spot a student with a tie down, discuss it with students straight away, create the item in this uh, board on Notion, and then where the progress is not email sent and the progress is not in ISAMS, then we want to view it in this view. So at the end of the day, I know, right, okay, here's something I didn't manage to get cleared up during the day. I didn't send the email if I wanted to, and I didn't put it into ISAMS. Okay, he would go, right, that's fine. Uh, yes, I remember that now, actually. Okay, I'll go drop it into ISAMS, drop it in, and there it is. I've dropped it into ISAMS, so that has now gone to empty because it's now in ISAMS, and we only view things if it's not in ISAMS and not in emails in this view. And I can look at that at the end of the day and know that everything is fully processed. I've not dropped anything. Everything's logged in the school system. I only need to look at this once a day. Rather than logging in and out all day out of this system, I can log in it once a day, do all of my little discipline admin, and it's all sorted, ready to go home, fresh, knowing that everything's tracked the way the school requires us to do it. I hope that's been super useful. I think that's a great use of Notion, of the board view in Notion. I hope it's helpful for you. Do give me a shout out in the comments or on Twitter or wherever it is if, um, if you've got any other views or any other questions about that. I hope it's been super useful. You've been watching Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos every single week. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you again next week.